Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Creative by Nature. My name is Donna. Today I am going to be creating a beautiful farmhouse, Pinterest inspired DIY for fall. I'll be painting on glass today for you all. It's part of the fall DIY and decor challenge hosted by Christina, the DIY mummy. I will have her channel and the playlist down in the description box below. I'd like to welcome those of you who are new to my channel. If the things that I create here interest you, I'd love you to join my community by tapping on the subscribe button as well as the bell. That way here you can stay up to date with everything that I have to share here. And if you are returning, it is always a pleasure to have you here. Let's hop into the project. I'm going to share how I transform this old picture frame with the glass still in. Hey everyone, so I am going to take the backing out of this frame as well as the glass and then I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to spray paint it with the heirloom white satin rust-oleum spray paint. And then I'm going to take some sandpaper and just kind of go over it lightly just to distress the frame once it's painted. Okay, so I'm going to clean this glass just to prepare the surface. I'm just using vinegar and water and then I might go over it with some rubbing alcohol to remove any grease marks. Uh, you just want to make sure that paint will still adhere to the glass after using the glass cleaner. Careful when you're handling the glass, it has very sharp edges. Feel free to wear gloves if you'd like. I'm being very gentle with how I'm handling the glass. My glass is prepped and the next step you could do is you could either freehand or draw on some paper first or use a printable whatever works for you. I'm just going to be doing a pumpkin, so I'm going to lightly trace out a pumpkin on my paper. I'm not going for perfectionism here. And just doing a quick light sketch. And then I will show you what to do next. Okay, so once you have your image, you are now going to place it underneath your glass where you'd like it situated. And then you have your template for your painting. Okay, the colors I am using are Naples Yellow Hue, Natural Grey Value 5, Unbleached Titanium, Raw Umber. And these are all acrylic paints paints ready on my palette. My palette is an ice cream lid, ice cream pail lid. Water, my paint brushes. I have a round brush. I'd say this is a small to medium sized flat brush and a large angled brush. I like to start off with my dark colors and I'll be going over my lines. It's like tracing. I will wet my brush a bit and I also like to keep a rag on hand. So I don't get too much water and then I might like just go with gray and like I said I'll go over my lines and then you might want to go in and add some dark brown as long as you're starting off with your darkest color this is the color palette I'm choosing to use feel free to use any colors you like my outline all done in my darkest color so now I'm going to wet my flat brush and I'm gonna go in and use the Naples yellow
so my frame is all dry and you can still see that the wood grain is showing through love that and now I'm just gonna go in and just kind of distress it using a sanding block Okay, so my pumpkin is all nice and dry and I finished distressing the picture frame. So now all you have to do is pop this inside as is. You can put a backing on if you'd like. And there you go. There's your pumpkin art on Plus, you can add leaves to it if you'd like. I prefer the simplicity of this one. And you could add some words or whatever you'd like, but I really, really like how simple this is. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I want to say big thank you to Christina and all my fellow creators. It truly is a favorite challenge of mine that I love to participate in. Let me know what you thought down in the comments section and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. It also helps me to know the types of content that you like me to create here on my channel. You can also join me over on Instagram as well as Pinterest. Both links are down in the description box. And I want to just thank you again so much for being here with me today. Have a great day. Bye.